We produce our power here on the farm using solar panels that are mounted on the roofs and we store the power for use in our batteries. There is an existing farm on the same site that is connected to Ontario's electric grid and with the setup we have we can sell our extra power to the other farm. This farm also helps us achieve our goal of lowering our carbon footprint. This farm is powered by solar power from panels mounted on the roofs. It also has a backup generator which will provide power if we cannot produce enough on the roof and this is done for the protection of our hens. Here at the farm we have a sea container that has a battery storage in it and this allows us to store power for use overnight or for periods when there is little sun. The farm does not experience slowdowns or power surges in our power supply. Extra power is sent to the farm beside us and if we require additional power it is produced by the generator. This farm will take three years to build. We began construction in 2017 and we'll, we will be finished in mid-2019. In all, we have four barns. We have one pullet barn, we have one free run barn, and we have two free range barns. All four are in the aviary style. What makes this barn different from normal free run farms is in addition to being solar powered, we also made sure to include high efficiency motors, lighting and ventilation systems. Here at the farm we use power for running fans to keep the birds comfortable, running the manure so we can keep the barn clean, um, running feeders, running our egg collection system and running our egg cooling room. The hens are not affected living in a solar powered barn. There is always power available through either the sun or our backup generator. This is the first time we have done an off the grid farm. As we learn more about different types of renewable energy, we may see more of these farms. The best thing about this farm being off the grid is that it is an excellent opportunity to learn about different kinds of renewable energy to power our farms and plants.